Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Colu. In this video, I'm solving a question from coordinate geometry. So let us witness the power of scaling and translation in reducing the calculation part through this question. Chale, let us start the question. The question says that the triangle PQO be the unique right isosceles triangle. Okay. Inscribed in the parabola y is equals to 12x square. With P in the first quadrant, right angle at Q in the second quadrant and O at the vertex 0 comma 0. Okay, fine. So I will just start tracing this triangle and the parabola that they have given. So this is the parabola y is equals to 12x square. So I'm taking the parabola like this. This is the parabola. Now they are saying that you have a right isosceles triangle with the vertex P in the first quadrant, vertex Q in the second quadrant and O at the vertex of the parabola. Right angle is at Q. So that means they are saying that PQ is equals to OQ, right? We have PQ is equals to OQ. Further, PQ is also perpendicular to OQ. Let triangle ABV. So I'm reading the question further. Let triangle ABV be the unique right isosceles triangle inscribed in the parabola Y is equals to X square by 5 plus 1 with A in the first quadrant, right angle at B, in the second quadrant and we add the vertex 0 comma 1. So basically once again a new parabola they have taken. The new parabola I am tracing it over here. So let us trace the parabola. Y is equals to x square by 5 plus 1. So something like this we have the parabola. This is the parabola having the vertex at 0 comma 1. But once again a triangle is there which is Again, right isosceles triangle and almost similar to the previous one. The name of the triangle is ABV where V they have taken as the vertex. A they have taken in the first quadrant and B is over here, right? Okay, again the right angle triangle, right isosceles triangle in some parabola which is again a vertical kind of parabola. Fine, the Y coordinate of A can be uniquely written as so, well, in the question, what I need to find out is the y coordinate of the vertex A of right isosceles triangle. So, they are saying that the y coordinate of A can be uniquely written, can be uniquely written as uq square plus vq plus w, where q is the x coordinate of q. q is the x coordinate of q. So, basically, q k coordinates I can write q comma 12q square according to the question, right? UVW are integers. Okay, fine. We have UVW as integers. What we need to find out here is the value of U plus V plus W. So basically the question says that go and find out the Y coordinate of the point A, express it in terms of Q and then you find out U plus V plus W. That's it. This is the question that we are going to solve. And for solving this question, see one way of solving the question is first of all, getting the value of Q through this question. That means the first part, the first parabola. This parabola se aap Q ki value nikale. Kya kya information use ki ja sakti hai? We can utilize these two information for getting the value of Q. Similar approach say you go and get the coordinates of the vertex A. Once you get the coordinates of the vertex A, you will be able to compare the Y coordinate of A with the X coordinate of Q. Right? This is the question. I just have to compare the Y coordinate of A with the X coordinate of Q. And after that, I need to find out that u plus v plus w. This is a very long process and I'm not going to solve the question using this method. Although you will get the answer at the end, but it the calculation bahut zyada hoga. After that, end may particular form may be question ko likna hoga. That means that is also going to include some calculation. So overall, bahut lengthy calculation ho jayegi if we proceed like this. So I'm going to take the help of translation and scaling as I told you earlier to reduce the calculation part in this question. But how we are going to use that? Kaise use karna hai wo mein aapko batati hu. Yani kya karenge? Dekhe, sabse pehle we know that all the parabolas can be converted to another form. That means I can convert this parabola to this form. So I just want to find out what exactly is the relation between these two parabolas. Let me write down their equations here. This parabola is y is equals to 12x square, right? This parabola is y is equals to 12x square. Well, this parabola is y is equals to x square by 5 and plus 1. And I can say that what we can do is, is parabola ko agar aapko second form mein convert karna hai, 
ठीक है सो वट वी विल बी डूइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल बी रिप्लेसिंग स्मॉल वाई बाय कैपिटल वाई बाय क्या लिख सकते हैं हम इसे सिक्सटी ओके वाई वी आर टेकिंग सिक्सटी दैट ऑल्सो यू विल कम टू नो बिकॉज सी आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट डिनोमिनेटर एज फाइव so twelve fives are sixty this is what I want so I wanted to create sixty here so small y को capital y by sixty and small x को I'm going to replace with capital x by sixty this is my step one ठीक है this is the step one so I started scaling of the parabola replacing small y by capital y and small x by capital x you can see that we are getting a parabola of the kind y is equals to x square by but this is not exactly similar to the parabola the second parabola that they have given in the question so now what we have to do when you compare these two you can see that in the second step to reach the second parabola i'm just going to replace y with capital y minus 1 right we will be replacing it with capital y minus 1 or directly you can say that shift the parabola shift it one units upwards one unit upwards right so what you have to do you just have to increase the value of y by 1 increase the value of y by 1 means capital y was x square by 5 but you have to make it x square by 5 plus 1 right so whatever y coordinate you are getting here you just have to add 1 to it so that you will start getting the corresponding points on this parabola right so humne kya kiya humne ek parabola ko dusre parabola mein convert karne ke liye we are taking the help of scaling and translation but why we are doing it like this actually as i told you earlier all the parabolas are same theek okay? hai you just need the scaling translation and sometimes rotation to convert one parabola to other yahan rotation ki zarurat nahi padi so it's very good we are just going by the translation approach and the scaling approach to convert one parabola to other same approach say right isosceles triangle can also be converted to another right isosceles triangle that means with the help of scaling and translation and rotation any right isosceles triangle can be converted to another right isosceles triangle but here now we don't have to put extra effort to convert this right isosceles triangle into this one why because when you are just or when you are converting this parabola or when you are uh, converting this parabola to this particular form ऑटोमेटिकली जो हमारे पास कॉर्डिनेट्स में रिलेशन आ रहा है दैट रिलेशन विल हेल्प मी इन ट्रांसलेटिंग और यू कैन से कन्वर्टिंग दिस राइट आई सोसलेस ट्राइंगल इन टू दिस वन एज वेल ठीक है यानी फिर से हमें कोई एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट नहीं करना है आपके पास क्यू पॉइंट विद दिस स्केलिंग एंड ट्रांसलेशन दीज टू स्टेप से द पॉइंट क्यू विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू द पॉइंट बी पॉइंट पी विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू द पॉइंट ए एंड ओ विल बी ट्रांसफर टू द पॉइंट वी वो ऑटोमेटिकली अब ट्रांसफर होगा क्योंकि दिस राइट आई सॉस दिस ट्राइंगल वॉज अ पार्ट और यू कैन से इट वॉज इंस्क्राइब इन द पैराबोला तो सेम चीज जब हमने स्केलिंग और ट्रांसलेटिंग ट्रांसलेशन किया तो ट्राइंगल पी क्यू ओ विल कन्वर्ट टू ट्राइंगल ए बी वी वो ए बी वी में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा एज एट फाइन चलिए अभी करना क्या है अब हमें ये देखना है कि हमें तो एक एक ऑर्डिनेट चाहिए एंड ए विल बी ओपटेन बाय using these two steps that means scaling and translation in the point p so i am interested in getting the coordinates of the point p how you are going to get the coordinates of the point p p ke coordinates ke liye i will use these two information so for the time being i am assuming that point p is something like alpha comma beta hame alpha beta hi chahiye theek hai and that too in the first quadrant keep this thing in mind first of all i am using the condition that pq is perpendicular to oq pehle hum is condition ko use karte hain we let us start with that condition that pq is perpendicular to oq pq perpendicular to oq means you have to use the concept of slope so what is the slope of pq because p ko we have taken alpha comma beta and q ko humne kya le rakha hai we have taken point q as q comma 12 q square right so what is the slope of pq let's write that that will be 12 q square minus beta whole divided by q minus alpha and this is going to be perpendicular to oq so what is the slope of oq now oq ka slope hamare paas aata hai 12 q square minus 0 upon q minus 0 that is 12 q but because the lines are perpendicular i have to equate the slopes like this they are negative reciprocals of each other from this first equation i can see that 
whenever you find 12q square minus beta, you can replace it with q minus alpha upon 12q with a negative sign in front. I have the first equation. Mark kar liya. The first condition I have utilized that OQ is perpendicular to PQ. Secondly, now what I have to check is the second condition I am using is PQ is equals to OQ. Yani PQ square is equals to OQ square. Abhi OQ square pehle likhte hai. So that is going to be Q comma 12 Q square. Yani kya likhenge? Q square plus uh, 144 Q power 4. This is equals to PQ whole square. PQ ka matlab? It will become Q minus alpha whole square plus 12 Q square minus beta whole square. This is the second equation. And we need to get the value of alpha and beta. Kaise find kare? With the help of first equation, I am going to put this value. Yani right hand side ko, I am going to write as Q minus alpha ka square plus whole square of this quantity. That means 1 upon 144 Q square Q minus alpha whole square. Taking that Q minus alpha whole square common and 144 Q square also common from the denominator. So I have taken this quantity common and now I am left out with 144 Q square plus 1 here and the left hand side also you can notice the similar factor. Since it is not 0, I am cancelling this factor and will continue to solve for alpha. Getting Q minus alpha square as 144 Q power 4 or you can say Q minus alpha is equals to plus minus 12 Q square. Right? We to alpha. Chahiye. Alpha kitna raha hai? Q plus minus 12 Q square. Why we are getting two answers here? So let me just go back to the parabola and show it to you. हमने क्या किया है हमने जिन दो कंडीशंस को यूज किया है वो ये वाली है इफ यू यूज दीस टू कंडीशन देन डेफिनेटली यू आर गोइंग टू गेट टू पॉइंट्स वन पॉइंट पी ओवर हियर एंड द अदर पॉइंट पी ओवर हियर ये भी तो पॉइंट पी हो सकता है बिकॉज़ हियर आल्सो पी क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ क्यू एंड पी क्यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ओ क्यू राइट सो देयर माइट देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग टू पॉइंट्स सो दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग मैथमेटिकली आल्सो राइट बट नाउ यू हैव टू डिसाइड व्हिच पॉइंट इज टू बी सिलेक्टेड Keeping in mind that my answer should be in the first quadrant, I will be selecting, I will be selecting the possible value of alpha as alpha ko kya lenge? Q plus 12 Q square. Take hai, hum Q plus 12 Q square answer lenge. Or jo negative wala hai, aap aur subtract karo, that means you are moving to the left, that answer will be rejected. So I have taken alpha, the x coordinate of the point P as Q plus 12 Q square. Fine. Alpha is Q plus 12 Q square. Now finding beta. How you are going to get beta? Obviously using this relation. Okay, I'll go by this relation. I'll put the value of alpha here. We'll solve it for beta. And you will get the value of beta as. So let us write down what is beta. It turns out to be 12 Q square minus Q. So we were interested in getting the coordinates of the point P. Why? Because after that I am thinking of just going for scaling and translation so that I can get the coordinates for the point A as well. Right? Hume especially kya chahiye? Hume A point ka Y coordinate chahiye. Right? So humne P point pehle likhna hai. This is Q plus 12 Q square. And then we have 12 Q square minus Q. Yeh humare paas ajate hai point P ke coordinates. Ab agle step mein hume kaha jana hai? Hume point A tak jana hai. How we are going to go to that point? A point पर जाने के लिए step one scaling and step two will be translation. ठीक है, so these two steps now we are going to follow. This is small x and small y. What is the relation for capital X and capital Y? So you can see that if you want capital X Y, तो पहले हम क्या करेंगे? Capital X Y निकालेंगे, then we will be shifting it one unit upward. ठीक है तो उसे इसमें कन्वर्ट करेंगे। How you are going to get this? So let me show you what was the relation we were getting. हमने स्केलिंग किया था फॉर द पैराबोला। So in the first step, we know that small y is to be replaced with capital Y by 60. Small x is to be replaced with capital X by 60. Implies capital X Y is equivalent to 60 times small x Y. Right? Cross multiply करके आप capital X Y की वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ़ small x Y लिख सकते हो। so I said, okay, first of all, I'm going for the scaling, which is 60 times of what we got here. So we got this one. 
राइटिंग डाउन द कॉर्डिनेट्स फॉर द पॉइंट ए अभी पहला स्टेप आ रहा है स्टेप वन कैपिटल एक्स वाई आई एम गोइंग टू राइट स्मॉल एक्स यानी सिक्सटी टाइम्स एक्स सिक्सटी टाइम्स वाई एंड देन इन द सेकेंड स्टेप माई आंसर विल बिकम सिक्सटी टाइम्स एक्स सिक्सटी वाई प्लस वन करेक्ट दिस इज वॉट वी गेटिंग आई एम इंटरेस्टेड प्योरली इन वाई कॉर्डिनेट सो वाई टू वेस्ट टाइम फॉर द एक्स कॉर्डिनेट जस्ट राइट डाउन द वाई कॉर्डिनेट विच इज गोइंग टू बिकम सो वाई कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द पॉइंट ए इज इक्वल इन टू सिक्सटी टाइम्स दिस सो दिस विल बी सिक्सटी टाइम्स ट्वेल्व क्यू स्क्वेर माइनस सिक्सटी क्यू एंड देन प्लस वन राइट सो जस्ट यूजिंग ट्रांसलेशन एंड यूजिंग द स्केलिंग आई गॉट द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द पॉइंट ए प्योरली इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्यू वॉट इज क्यू द एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द पॉइंट क्यू एज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन ठीक है तो अब आप इसे नोटिस कर सकते हो वी गॉट द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ ए वेन यू कंपेयर इट विद द इक्वेशन और द फॉर्म दैट दे हैव गिवन इट इज लाइक दिस कंपेयरिंग दम गिवस मी द वैल्यू ऑफ यू एस सेवन ट्वेंटी the value of v you are getting is 60 with a negative sign and coming to w the value of w is 1 my answer is sum of all these three so when you add them together your answer turns out to be 661 so here is the answer to the question hope you have enjoyed this translation and scaling and you can definitely use it in any other question wherever you feel like ki hum is tarah ka translation or स्केलिंग करके क्वेश्चन को इजी बना सकते हैं ठीक है सो होप यू एंजॉय दिस क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज डू हिट द लाइक बटन शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फेलो स्पायरेंट्स एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय बाय